Well, hello everybody, and very much welcome to the second CARS conference. I am Ingrid Ela, and the Dean of this faculty, and also part of the PARS work group. First of all, I want to thank you all for coming. Participation, participants and speakers. I also want to thank all of you who have made this conference possible. Organizers, coordinators, fantastic technicians, and all these all equally fantastic students who are helping out. I cannot name you all, in fact I name nobody, but uh, all should feel included. This year the conference is on exclusion. If you look up exclusion in a dictionary of synonyms, you will find about a hundred variations of negativity. But self-chosen exclusion might give you a splendid position, not in the least when it comes to understand the included. You just have to remember the more than 200 years old conception of the artist as an outsider with special gifts of seeing, a romantic myth that still prevails in some areas, even in some art schools. Not in this conference, however, where we want to address more current questions of inequality, neo-coloniality, and legitimacy as they are expressed and produced through culture and cultures of artistic education. A little more than a hundred years ago, you didn't need a passport to travel in Europe. Passports were in introduced with the outbreak of the First World War in 1914. Today we live in a time of rising wars and closing borders, not only between countries, but in many areas. Borders that divide some and allegedly uh, protect others. But borders can also make us free when they create opportunities for you to cross them. Many years ago, when the Berlin Wall was still in place, the German writer Stefan Heim published a little book about so-called wall jumpers. Two boys who jumped over the wall from east to west because they wanted to go to the cinema. After the cinema, they jumped back again to the east. Not once only, but actually 14 times. They managed, be not be, without being shot by the guards, 14 times, and this is a true story actually, always jumping back to the east again, refusing to accept the wall as a border. Paris has as its aim to cross borders. Paris is a platform within this faculty of fine applied and performing arts for research publishing and international research network building. PARS aims at pushing aesthetic interdisciplinarity forward through promoting an innovative multidisciplinary research culture in the arts, understood as including music, performing arts, art, design, architecture, literature, film and media, and so on. And also creating dialogues and exploring collaborations between researchers in the arts and in other disciplines. Exclusion operates in many different ways in and beyond the arts. We have designed this conference to focus on some specific categories of exclusion, where we also see an imperative to act on what we are learning as individuals, and as much as institutional bodies. We understand that there are multiple overlaps between themes and ideas, practices and politics, 
that we will be discussing over the next few days. So the conference is organized, and now we come to the practical part of this introduction. It's organized with six strands, but on the understanding that they overlap. So the strands are indigeneity, education and exclusion, colonization and decolonization, vocabularies of exclusion, participation as exclusion, and geographies of exclusion. As participant, you are encouraged to choose which one you want to attend each day. You may choose to stay with one strand of discussion each day, but you may choose to swap between them. It's your choice. But please bear in mind that if you swap, you will often be entering an ongoing discussion and thus feel excluded from it. All of these strands are marked and introduced on the conference app that you have received. Posters also exist and design direction designs also show the way uh, into each venue. Some sessions, as this one, are open to a broader community and take place either here in the Baula, which is a funny word for library and aula, and library is bibliothek in Swedish, so that's where the Baula comes from. Anyway, like this in the Baula, or in the Baula Academy Aula, across the yard, on the fourth floor of, of that building. We are particularly pleased to welcome friends whose first language is not English or Swedish, and thus we have organized simultaneous translation into Farsi, that is Persian, and Arabic for the open sessions. Please bear in mind that particularly in question and answer sessions, there will be a need to be time for translation. Throughout the three days, installations, screenings, and performances are taking place, some of which are continuous, some of which are timed, Please look for posters on the app. Last but not least, let me say something about eating. That's really important. All food is being cooked in-house, in the kitchens, on the other side, on, in the world area. And you will find that on the map. So everything is being cooked inside. And I would like to thank Rose Borthwick, Andreas Engman, Ilva Madden, and the student team who are cooking for us. They have to be named. And the city of Gothenburg has to be changed is this time too. They are hosting us tomorrow evening. And now to even more practical things. You have been assigned little colored tickets, which indicate I have a green one. I'm in the green kitchen, and some of you are in the blue kitchen or in the pink kitchen. And you also have gotten tickets that will allow you to have some wine. This is a very Swedish thing. In Sweden, we belong to the so called vodka belt, which means that we are a bunch of alcoholics. <laughs> and therefore, we only have two glasses of wine per night. <laughs> so you have two tickets for tonight, two tickets for tomorrow, those are the pink ones. It's not pink champagne, it's ordinary wine, and two tickets for Friday. But there is a bar. <laughs> okay. So now you've been introduced to Swedish alcoholic policies. Um, if you need directions or help in any way, please ask Peter Arnold, Rose Borswick, and the student helpers. If any of you are here, please show, show a hand. Or... Is anybody here? Nobody here to ask. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, what's your I'm so sorry, but but you have met them already. Some of them you have met when you registered. So it's Pia, it's Rose, and all the others. And one of them is called Ingrid, and she's from Brazil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now I will hand over to Professor Andrew Phillips, who is one of our past professors, and thus a key figure in organizing this conference. And Andrea will introduce our first invited speaker. Thank you.